वेलकम बैक एलियंस दिस इज रेडी फ्रॉम फ्रॉमिस्को लर्निंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट एनोनिमस ऑब्जेक्ट Now, what is anonymous mean? So, if you don't know the name of this of something, we say anonymous, right? So, when you read some books, in that we say author is anonymous, we simply say we don't know the author, right? Or we don't want to reveal the author. So, we have a concept of anonymous object. Now, if we talk about in Java, we have this concept of object creation, right? Because whenever you work with objects. Or whenever you work with Java, we require objects. So, the way we create object is. So, let's say we have a class which is A. So we have this class, which is A. So we have this class A, right? We, it has some properties, it has some methods, but that's not important here, right? Or, or let's let's take a method here. We'll, we'll take a method. We'll say we'll say this in this class we have a method which is show, okay? Now what it does doesn't matter, okay? We have this method which is show, and I want to create an object of A now. So in order to create object, what we do? So first we create something, right? So example, let's let's say we are not creating object, we are creating a variable now. So how do we create variable? So first we specify the variable name. So let's say variable name is value. So value is my variable name. And in Java, since it is strictly type language, we have to specify the data type, right? So I will say this is, it is of type int. And it has a value. So value has a value which is five, right? So that, that makes sense, right? That's how you create a variable. But let's say now you want to create a reference variable. So when I say reference variable, I'm talking about objects. So I want a reference variable of this class. So what we'll do is we'll say that reference variable as obj. So that's how we normally refer to an object. So we say obj, but this obj is of type. What type? It is of type a, right? So this int means a, so that's data type. So type is int, type is a. That's the variable name value. That's the variable name object. The difference will be, this would be called as, so this is called as primitive. Right, so that's the primitive variable and this would be called as referenced variable. So this is REF referenced. So this is primitive variable, this is referenced variable. Now can I use this object to call show? And the answer is no because this is just a variable. In order to, to call the method we need object and the only way to call the object we say new and a right that's way that's what we have seen in the earlier videos when we talked about how to create an object right so we have to say a obj equal to new a and we have to provide a brackets here so this is a constructor right so now you know about all the stuff now what's important so if you if you write something in this way what is happening at the back end so what we have is uh, we have a stack memory and we have a heap memory Okay, so normally we deal with this two type of memory, memory. One is uh, stack and second is heap. So when I say I'm creating a variable, so when I say int, uh, when I say int value equal to five, uh, for time let's make this value as i just to use minimum memory here or to, to use minimum space on the board. So I will say int i equal to five. So what we are doing here is as soon as you create a variable, it goes into the, as soon as you create a local instance or local variable, it goes into stack, which is i. And we can specify this is file now, right? So the value, so first is the variable name, second will be the value. Now what, what happens with this? As soon as you say a obj, so now we got obj here as the name, right? So this is obj here, but what about this? What should be the value? So as soon as you say new a, in your heap memory, so this is tag and this is heap, right? So inside your heap memory, you will be getting an object, okay? So this is obj object, that's the reference here. And it will have a unique address, right? So let's say the address is 101. So inside your heap memory, it will be having a hash code. Uh, we'll talk about that in the one, one of the video. So we have a hash code. And in this, you will be having, so let's say in this, uh, in this class, we also have a variable called as int k, right? And the default value for k will be zero because that's an instance variable. So instance variable will have a value which is zero, right? So in this, we'll be having two sections, one for properties and one for methods. So it will also have a method which is show. Make sense? And this address will be stored inside 101. Okay, so next time, when I want to call this show, what we can simply do is we can say it is obj.show. That's how you call a method, right? But just imagine, when you want to create an object, it will take some space inside heap memory and it will take some space inside stack memory, right? So every time you create a referenced object or referenced variable, we, we consume some amount of memory inside stack. 
Now question arises, how many times I'm using this object? I'm using that object only once, right? So this is, so just imagine you have a line of code, you have thousand lines of code and you're, you're using this object only once. So the only, uh, the only idea of creating this object here was to call show. Then why to create an object? I mean, let's say, let's say you have a value which is five and you, you, you don't want to reuse this value. Then why do you even create a variable when you don't want to reuse the value? So if you want to call show, then why to create an object? I mean, can we directly write new a dot show? Now the advantage will be, this is just one line, right? We are not creating any referenced object here. That means it will not consume any stack memory. It will only consume heap memory, right? So this is how we can actually call show. But how exactly this works? So what we'll do is we'll remove that. We'll come to this point how exactly this works. Now, uh, think about this. Let's imagine this is part A or this is X. I will say this is X and this is Y. So whenever you have X and Y and if they are equals, whenever you can use X, you can use Y, right? So this is X. Can I replace this with Y? And we can do that, right? So we can replace this OBJ with new A. So that's Y, right? So this is X, this is Y dot and we can say show. So now what we are doing here is this is just an object. So as soon as you say new, it will create a new object with some new address, with some k value and show, right? But this new a is not same as this new a because this is a referenced object. So this will not create any place inside stack. It will only create in, uh, memory inside the heap memory. Okay. So now this type of objects where you don't have the reference, this will be called as anonymous object since we don't have the name, right? So we don't have any name for the object here. That's why it is called as anonymous object. So this is a referenced object and this is anonymous object. Okay, so what are the advantages of using anonymous object? Uh, it will not use any memory inside stack, right? That's the advantage. The second advantage, let's say you have a method, okay? So you have a very big method, I mean huge. So this is your main method inside, in, inside this. You have approximately 1,224 lines of code, okay? So you have so much of code here. So you have approximately 1,200, uh, 1,024 lines of code. And somewhere here at the line number, which is 25, so on the line number 25, you're creating this object. So this is, this is your line number 25, okay? Now this object will be there inside your memory. So again, I'm using this at the line number 26 and I'm not using this object for next thousand lines. So just imagine this object will be inside in your, inside in your memory for hundred lines or thousand lines of code, right? It, it will not be, it, it will not be eligible for garbage collection. So what it normally does is, whenever you have this stack, it will have a reference here, okay? This is a reference, okay? So when your GC, which is your garbage collection, comes for the, you know, comes for cleaning, it will check, okay, we already have a reference, so we cannot clean this because this is occupied now. Even if you are not using it, it is occupied because you are creating a reference variable or referenced object. The advantage of this object is, so let's say this is line number 27, okay? And we have again thousand lines of code ahead. So if you write, if you write this, this type of statement, this object will do its work, which is showing some data, but this will be eligible. So this will be eligible for garbage collection because we don't have any reference. So as soon as your work is over, it is eligible for garbage collection. So of course, which is better in this scenario, it is anonymous, right? So when you want to use an object only once, always use anonymous object. If you want to use it multiple times, use a uh, name referenced object. Now when I say multiple times, then why not anonymous object for multiple times? The issue will be, so let me remove all this, all this stuff. Oh, I wanted a stack, right? So let me just draw that stack, which is I equal to five obj equal to 101 so that's my link now let's say i'm creating an object so uh, let's say this is referenced object okay 
and somewhere here in somewhere inside show I am printing the value of k so it is SOP and I am printing the value of k now okay so if I say obj dot k equal to 5 okay not 5 let's say this is 26 oh, that's the value and now if I say obj dot show what it will print it will print the value of k right because it will call show so as soon as you write these two statements in your object the value of k becomes 26 right so that's the value there so your k has a value which is 26 so as soon as you say show this show will call will fetch the value of k which is 26 right you're getting the output but what if if i'm not using referenced object i'm using anonymous object so it will not be there initially okay and uh, let me just expand my heap size okay so let me just say this is new a and if i say dot show or uh, let me set the value first so as soon as i say dot k equal to 29 if i set this value as new a dot k 29 it will create a new object okay so the value of k here will be 29 right and it will be having a show method but we don't have any stack right or stack reference there now if I say new a because we can replace this obj with new a so we can say dot show what you think will be the output okay uh, if you are thinking the output is 29 uh, then you are okay just just hold on before answering the question okay uh, guess the answer and go to the comment section type the answer okay then come back to uh, the video and watch the answer here okay so but try it out go to the comment section type your answer and then come to this now if you run this code the output you will be getting is actually zero because the the reason is as soon as you say new it will create the new object here okay and the value of k by default will be zero and it will be show when you say new a dot show it will call this show not that one and this show will print the value of this k which is zero right so that's why whenever you want to use an object for multiple times always use a referenced object when you want to use it only one time use anonymous object so that's it that's all about anonymous object uh, that's it thanks for watching and do subscribe for for the videos